Hi, my name is Brian Caffo, and welcome to this week's Ask Brian part of our weekly newsletter, Monday Morning Data Science. You can sign up for the newsletter in the link in the video description below. Also, there's a link there to ask a question. So I got a question this week about how do I get started in Bayesian data analysis? So um, I want to break this down as simply as possible. And so I just am going to give you four steps. First thing is you need to learn some basic stat if you don't know this already. So, uh, you know, you, you need some basic inference. It, it'd be nice to know a little frequentist inference, confidence intervals, hypothesis tests, that sort of stuff. But then also ideally a little bit of math stat. So just so you know what a likelihood is and some just some basic probability manipulations. So I think these sorts of things, uh, you know, I have a class, Mathematical Biostatistics Boot Camp, that would teach you some of the basic math stat that you would need. Um, but you, you don't need a ton, but you need a, a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit more in Bayesian inference than you would need in, in some other kinds of styles of statistical inference. Next, I would suggest, you know, get some, get some good books. Um, on applied on applied Bayesian analysis. And the ones that I use that I like a lot, I like the, the book by Gelman et al. And I think the title of that book is Bayesian Data Analysis. And I like the uh, book by Carlin and Lewis. Carlin and Lewis. And that's called Bayesian Empirical Bayes Data Analysis. So those are the two books that I use, but there's lots of Bayes Data Analysis books out there. I just happen to like those. Um, the third step is you need to learn some software. So the way I did this um, when I was sort of first learning about Bayes data analysis is I, I did this sort of program it yourself route. Program it yourself. And in fact, that's kind of how I put myself through graduate school in a little bit was programming algorithms of these sorts. And so there you need to learn some Monte Carlo and you need to learn um, some Markov chain Monte Carlo. And then you would need to also learn, you know, some of the new things like variational Bayes, that sort of stuff. Um, I, I like some of these, some of this new software, if you're, if you're going to plan to stick within kind of some, uh, kind of well-trod models and not do some really, you know, very, uh, you know, unique Bayesian models, if you're going to kind of stick to some, some typical models, then I would say maybe learn Stan. Uh, Stan is, uh, uh, it seems to be pretty well supported and it uh, has some nice RStudio plugins. And, and so another, you know, uh, people always used to use as well, um, bugs and wind bugs and, um, but I think probably now I would learn Stan. Uh, I would recommend doing that. Um, now, you know, I, I devoted so much energy into learning how to program these algorithms. Now it's kind of hard for me to, to use the, the existing packages. But I think if I, if I had to do it all over again, I would, I would now use those. And then the fourth thing I would suggest is, you know, read, you know, read some, read some Bayes yeah, philosophy. Um, you know, that philosophy, practice, that sort of stuff, um, just so you kind of understand um, some of the different ways that people think about Bayesian data analysis. It's Bayes data analysis is a very big tent. You have, you know, people who think of Bayesian data analysis in the very classical subjective sense, and then you have very modern Bayesians who kind of uh, think about it very loosely, mixing frequency and da Bayes data analysis ideas and so, you know, some, reading some of that literature, including some of the blogs, uh, both critical and supportive of various types of Bayesian data analysis, um, would be useful. So anyway, those are the four steps I would say to do um, to get started. And uh, let me know how it goes for you in the comments. And I will see you next week.